Oh, they changed those buttons. Well done, OBS. All right, so now it's confusing. Okay, here we go. There's real audio. All right, here we go. Uh, it starts in three, two, one. Reduce. Reuse. I could use three more inches of meat. This is the morning stream. It's just what the doctor ordered. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to TMS. This is the morning stream, and it's Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. I'm Scott Johnson. That guy right there is Brian Ibbett. Hello. 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 It's me. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, you know my favorite hello is music? Let's play it. It's this right here. Hello, hello there. there. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> that was my prediction. Yeah. Of all the hellos, that was, that's the one I want to reply to and say, oh, hey, good morning. What's up? That is, that is a good hello. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, as far as hellos go, that's a, that's a good hello. Yeah. But you have to blink 183 times before... You can you can say it. That doesn't make any sense. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. See where I'm going. Actually, 182 there. times. Oh, first we'll blink 182. <laughs> Why did blink, maybe it's blink 181 times before you do that one? I don't know. 183 sounded right in my head, but yeah. it's wrong. Yeah. A lot of things are wrong. Uh, yeah, listen, I know. I think I know what the problem is. I got it. My wife's out of town, and everything's effed mm. up. Uh, this morning, I was telling Brian and pre-show. Um, usually, I try to have show notes done. If not the night before, maybe an hour before the show, something like that. Just try to have them up there and ready. And uh, maybe a couple tweaks right before airtime or whatever. But I thought I did last night. And I didn't. I completely didn't notice even until about 10 minutes before. I'm kind of having my leisurely morning and come down here. I'm like, all right, we're doing a show. Let's get in the headspace. And I look at the notes and go, there are no notes. There are no, there's not even a tab. We don't have anything. <laughs> not even a tab, like not even the empty notes. Right. And I never know whether or not to uh, to message you or something and say, uh, are we doing a show today? There's no notes. Because like, yeah, I'm getting to it. You yeah. know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Patience, man. Okay. No, in this okay. case, in this case, had you said it, I would have gone, really? There are no notes? Oh, hold on a minute. And then I would have realized <laughs> what I'd done. So there was that. And then there have been a couple other things in the last day or two where I'm just like, did I not do that? Did I miss the garbage can? Or did I put it yeah. in the wrong place? Or like all these kind of things. And I've got it figured out. My wife has been gone for more than two days. And that's all it takes. Last night, just I ate week old jambalaya leftovers that if I'm honest, were. Just south of, uh, just just north of south, just, if you know what I'm saying. Just on this side of uh, questionable. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, I followed that up with something else. What was it? Oh, leftover cold pizza. Because, mm. because that's what we've been reduced to here. <laughs> and uh, it's a bad thing, man. I need her to get here and, uh, you know, let's make it all right again. She gets here tonight, I'll so... I was going to ask you how long is she uh, gone, so she's back tonight. So yeah, tonight. The world, the world gets back on its on its uh, axis. Yep. Uh, right. We we bring uh, balance back to the force is what we do. That's right. And uh, I'm excited because, uh, whew, man, I've had it. I'm no I good do. On my I own. do love it when you uh, talk about jambalaya because in the show notes it's always jambolia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, this. <laughs> This weird spelling that... Uh, Jumbolia. Jumbolia. I can never be bothered to spell it properly. Let me try it again if I'm really thinking. All J right, let's see, let's see how you do. I'm curious. I'll go J-A. Uh-huh, so far so good. M, right? Uh-huh, yep. B. Yep. O-L. <sighs> Hold on, B-Y? No. Nope. J-A-M-B-A-L. Hey! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jumbol. Y-A. Oh, so close. Y L A Y A. There you go. There, done. Jamba Laya. Got it. Only took a hundred years to get, get rid of. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I do that because it's quick and easy. I guess yeah, you know. no, I know, and it's it's always it's it's funny. <laughs> I, I I kid, I kid. Yeah, you have good time with it. That's okay. All right, uh, done away time, perhaps. Uh, now this yeah. is the thing that we've missed because we didn't have a show Monday. That's right. And no, uh, no Monday, and uh, felt and weird. We've right? got a whole new, a whole new batch of questions for the feud, like a whole new survey. By the way, if you have not yet filled out the survey, go to 
tiny.cc slash tadpool survey. Sweet. Is that right? No, I'm sorry. Tadpool feud. Oh. F-E-U-D. Tadpool feud. Tiny.cc tadpool feud. All lowercase, all one word. Okay, excellent. Uh, and I meant to. Did I ever tweet that? I thought I did. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't. Um, uh, you didn't, did I? and I, I need to give you just, I'll write a tweet. Or you can, I can type it in here and you can yeah, I like that. How's we can that? do that. Let's totally do that. Do that. We can totally uh, do that. Tiny.cc slash tadpool F E U D feud. Yep. Jambalilo. Jambolia. Jambolia. Welcome, our old pal Brian Dunaway, to the show. Brian, we've missed you terribly. Hello. Oh, hi, Scott and Brian. Hi. Hello. How are you guys? We're fine. We're good. How are you? Kind of startled me a little bit. You're a couple of minutes early than you usually do, but I figured maybe they don't have show notes or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they're just winging it. We might flying be. without a net today. Feels like it. Uh, <laughs> welcome to our our circus. Uh, it's good to have you here, though. We missed you Monday, and um, you've had a busy oh, man. busy week too. I so, missed you. Yeah. I missed you guys too. Yeah. Well, it's good to have you. Good to have you here. And uh, for those who didn't notice, yes, there was no boop show on Monday because Brian had a thing and. We just could not. Well, we didn't it. have any show notes, so. Well, that's the other reason. No, no show notes. Turns <laughs> out you need show notes no to show do a notes. show. Yeah, it's kind of a pain I, in the ass. Oddly, there's, oddly, there's more truth than that than you may believe. Mm. My air conditioning went out. Oh. And so being in my office and doing show notes and doing the gaming was insufferable, so I didn't do it. Mm. So we couldn't do a show because there would be no quality. Yeah, you can't have that. You can't have no quality. you got to have quality. Right, must have quality. Yeah, that's quality. a that's a rule. That's a rule I have. Must have quality. Uh, well, all right, we're gonna have a quality time together today. We're gonna play uh, the Tad Pooley feud, and we're gonna welcome to the show a listener who just called in. Let's find out who's waiting here on the line. Hi, who's this? Hi, it's Amy Red Fraggle. Well, hello, Amy. Amy. Amy, always a pleasure to hear Amy call in. How's how's your fundraiser going, by the way? And you want to mention that real quick? We should do that real fast. Yeah, yeah, that would be that's great. Yeah, um, I've had a few a few donations from the Tadpole. Thank you guys very much who mm-hmm. have donated. Um, so yeah, I am doing a charity ride in November for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So um, the URL for that, if anybody would like to contribute, is tinyurl.com slash red. Fraggle bike, nice. and I'll throw it in the chat. Bike, B-I-K-E. But, uh, not this one does not care if you capitalize or lowercase, unlike Tiny.cc. Yeah, it, so yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's it's all it's all lowercase, but yeah, it's fine. Awesome. So I will throw that in the chat for everybody. Very but. cool. Uh, yeah, go 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 help a fellow Tad Pooler out, everybody. Um, all right, Brian. Now that we've got Amy here, we have Brian here. We have a contest to be had. Why don't you explain how it's going to work and what we uh, what let's, she's going to win? Let's do it. Let's have the contest. It's time to play the Tadpooly feud. Uh, I've surveyed the Tadpool on some nerdy topics, and Scott and Brian will have to predict the answers that they gave us. It's Scott and Brian's job to see how many of those answers they can guess. Now, Amy, your job is more important than ever because you're actually going to be working with either Scott or Brian. And if your team wins, you get a prize package that includes Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, and, I like that game. Mm. Hey, oh, it's a good one. And yeah. Almost There, the platformer. Oh, I haven't I uh, played that one. Why is that one not ringing a bell? I don't know what that I one is. I don't know that one. I'm sure yeah. it's good. Mm. Well, they're uh, they're both good, and yeah. uh, if, uh, you you can't say otherwise. You can't convince me otherwise. Uh, I'm not saying can... they're not good. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yes. Uh, anyway, when those... the hosts coming in to the Tadpooly feud. Oh, you What's want that? you want host to? Uh, what do you mean? I want to I want to host in the Tadpooly feud. Oh, I don't want see me just run the board. All right, let's run the board. Okay, oh. host is now here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what he means. Michael Brian is the host, and now I was I was confused. Yeah, no, I hadn't I hadn't started the board yet. <laughs> uh, it's about time I did. By the way, those those came from Wesley. So big thanks to Wesley for sending in those codes. Wesley, we like Wesley. Wesley. He's great. All right. Uh, this one got a lot of responses, but also had a large number of passes, like people saying pass. About 50 people passed on this one. You're all crazy for passing on this. It's such a fun one. This one took a long time, by the way, to assimilate because answers were all written in different language, like different, uh, oh. different ways. So oh. I had to, okay. had to parse them down into something that's usable. Mm. And because you guys are both on film sack, you guys should be really good with this one. Uh, all right, put your hands on your buzzards and uh, and give me an answer to this. What is your favorite movie trope? 
Scott wait. was in first. Favorite movie trope would be, uh, the world is ending. Eh. It's end eh. of the world. Apocalypse. Uh, dystopia. Whatever that. Whatever that is. Yep, like a post-apocalyptic uh, world. You did yeah. the thing I do. Yeah. All right. Post-apocalyptic. Uh, <laughs> show me post-apocalyptic. <laughs> Damn it. Tadpool, right. you let me down. Uh, Brian, uh, wide really? open board. You can steal. Hmm. Interesting. So hmm, now I'm worried because I thought Scott's was a good answer. Yeah, I did too. I was over here good answering it. Okay. Um, yeah. Movie tropes. There's so many of them, though. Uh, we'll just go with some of the ones we did this past week. What was what was something we did last week? Um, uh, Morpheus takes the blue about, pill. Oh no, that's not it. How about shitty parents? Uh, every, every we're always talking about all parents are stupid, and yeah. crappy. Yeah, it's all a right. Good one. Show me, show me shitty parents. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, clueless parents on the board. God, where is it? It is uh, number eleven on the really? board. Really? Yes. God, that's oh. the problem. There's so many tropes. There are so oh my many. god! I was, I was surprised at how many like uh, you know people did tend to settle into these these ten categories. Um, all right. Well, well, let's keep going. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what, Amy? I'm, I'm gonna give you a chance now. to answer. <laughs> We're gonna here's, forget, Brian. Here's, well, no, there's nobody. She hasn't gotten to uh, join oh, anybody. But true, true. if you can give me one on the board, I'll let you pick who you play with. And you guys can go how first. About, how about the ignored scientist? The ignored? Like, the ignored mm -hmm. scientist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is was... always in the movies, though. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, uh, they don't know. This is hard to get that would one. Be. Uh. Yeah, there's it's down on there, but it's not uh, the top ten. All right, uh, we'll just keep going until you get. Uh, so it's a movie. Get something. <laughs> get something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what this... about a damsel in distress? How about that? Ooh, see, that's a good basic that one. There you go. Classic. That's yeah. brilliant. Classic truth. Oh no! <laughs> it was making the noise. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> damsel in distress is on oh this way God. down, way right. down on the list. We're thinking about it wrong. We're thinking about it wrong. Okay, we got to think yeah. about the tadpole. Yeah. What would the tadpole say? Doesn't have to be yeah. true. Yeah, just has to be what the tadpole would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so would they say well, whose turn is it now? Um, you know, I reset the buzzers so you, you guys <laughs> can buzz and take another guess. <laughs> All right, Brian. I'm gonna go chicken the bucket just because it's tadpoolers and they listen to film sack. Maybe we could do we could do that. Okay, Why not? let's try it. All right, show me chicken the bucket. It made it oh, to number, God, number one. Hey! Answer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, now I mean, that's what they're doing. Oh, geez. All right. Um, don't don't get too hung up on that. On on. Uh, okay. okay, so that was a, that was a one off. On ones that were specifically from film sack. Yeah. Okay. Oh the shoot! These, the rest of these are very tropey tropes. Tropey okay. tropes. Tropey and tropes. I'm, and I'm going to be very generous, by the way. You just you just haven't been close enough for me to be generous for these. <laughs> these <laughs> ones. I can I can I can bend, but I can't break. Brian's you guys. a generous. Come on. Exactly. He's a generous lover and host. Right. Um, right. right. All right. Uh, so, so Brian, you're teamed up with Amy. Uh, okay. See what you two can come up with. Um. Okay. You got any ideas, Amy, off the top of your head? Any more of the gems back there? Wow. Um, okay. So, yeah, like, Stupid Parents was the one that I put in the poll, but I was, we know that one's yeah, wrong. So, um, it's a great one. Let's see. Uh, I mean, and it's you like, said what the Tadpool would that call was a, a trope, great one. you know? Um, yeah. yeah. You got to think like they think or else you're hosed. Whatever that even means. And they're all robots and zombies. I don't know how you think like they do. Robots and zombies. Right. <laughs> Maybe zombies. Hey, oh, I'll shut up now. Um, how about, how about oh, like, um, you know, last, uh, like, an animal sidekick. Like, there's, you know, even in a, an apocalyptic movie, there's always, like, a, a lovable animal sidekick. How yeah, everybody's that? always got a little lovable sidekick. You're right. Uh, okay, show me lovable sidekick. Damn. Damn it. Uh, that's a good right. one, though. And now I don't know what to do. All right. I know. I know. Yeah, if it was, you I know, want this you one know, to be over quickly. I wanted to. My favorite part is the fact that Ibbett set this up for failure by going, 
You guys both do film, Zach. This is going to be super easy. Yeah. <laughs> we, talked about, we talked about a lot of these so much. but uh, And the disappointment. It uh, just slowly goes down the bowl. Did, did I mention that you guys have 43 strikes each? I'm going to give you each 43 strikes. <laughs> and uh... All right. Uh I'll go with the uh, uh, old uh, old guy knows everything Obi Wan Kenobi trope. Oh, oh, that's that's a good one. I that's would, actually the first well, one I've heard that was really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I one. like it, but I don't know. I don't know. That I'm, seems not, solid. I'm not feeling confident, but I, but I will say the Obi Wan uh, factor, and it seems like every movie does it now. All right, show me the wise old man. Damn it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, it's, uh, it it is, is, wow. it's number number fifteen is wise old man. Maybe we're maybe we're trying too narrow. Maybe maybe like I thought. I thought it was being too broad. Idea. Yeah, maybe go bigger. And, and if I, if you're not specific enough, I'll ask you to right to I, pare it down. Yeah. I got worried because when you said post apocalyptic, I thought <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, that's too that's too wide. Uh-uh. Um, and the wrong letters, but yeah, yeah. What I say? What I no, say? The way, you, the way you pronounced it, you're fine. You just shut you, up. you have a good time Everybody with that word. How no. many strikes you got? All right, uh, shut. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the. Uh, how about the 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 heist trope? It's just a bigger, a bigger, broader. It's it's. See that's it's I, I feel like we're so starting to tropes. feels like we're starting to tickle genres, but maybe that's what they're thinking in the tadpole. You know, like full genre. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Why not? Let's let's go with the the yeah. the, tr- the trope of the heist. Yeah. The, the the heist trope. The heist trope. Uh, a lot of people said it. One last heist. Show me. Is it on the board? <laughs> it is not. Oh. <laughs> One last heist was on the board, and it was. Uh. But that that got 22, me thinking. Though. That got something? me thinking. Yeah. That yeah. got me thinking. I got some. I got some ideas now. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, the one last. Heist is a is a common trope, so uh, that's a good thing to think along the lines of. Right. Okay. So that that okay, makes that sense. gives okay, me a so. hint. Yeah, trope is a really down. wide wide subject. Yeah. Um. Uh. Well, I don't know if that would count. Okay. <laughs> There's so many fights in the uh, tadpole right now. That's not a trope. Oh no, that's totally a trope. No, that's a setting. <laughs> yeah, settings, genres. Like, there's <laughs> once gonna again, be, once yeah. again, don't don't argue in the chat room. This is what. The tadpool right. thinks. Yeah, this yeah. is not what is reality. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Oh, I just thought of one. This is a trope okay. in everything: movies, video right. games, TV. Um, yep. What would you call it though? Like Neo, Luke, uh, the, cho- uh, no, the chosen one. The chosen, the chosen one. one. Yeah, the chosen yeah. one. Show me the chosen That's one. A real good one. Come on. Number oh, three. Yes. Okay, now we're now we're maybe we're getting somewhere here. Oh. Now we're. That was a good answer. Damn. This train is back on the rails. Yep. That took a minute. Okay. Randy, by the way, I can hear him just screaming at his his <laughs> phone or whatever he listens to podcasts on right now. Well, let's get his let's get his thoughts. But his scream is like this. Oh, you guys. Right. No, you should here let's see what he ha- says. Randy, your thoughts? You can go through the naked people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. The, we can go through the, the naked, naked people. people. All right. <laughs> Show me you can go through the naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a porn trope. Um, all right, let's see. Um, <laughs> it's a Saturday night at Ivitt's house. Uh, un, un, unending. Uh, actually, I take that back. Okay. I'm gonna hold that one. Uh, let's do the bad, uh, the bad mini boss, or not mini boss, the bad henchman, uh, uh, henchman who. I'm thinking of stormtroopers. I can't get out of Star Wars here, but sure. let's say stormtroopers sure. oh, are no, just. No, it's a great idea though. They're That's, just yeah, bumbling. I know what you're, know what you're describing, anything. and uh, I think. Uh, I think I see the the paint you're painting with here. All right. uh, show me uh, those bad henchmen that suck and can't do anything. Oh, yes, the go. henchman can't henchman can't aim uh, trope. Oh, they used the, the word henchman in there even. Oh, and it's a lower one too. You lucky dog. You. I know. That. Oh, that's a good. That's good points right there on the okay. board. Okay. All right. I feel like I've got a chance here. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. Oh. Okay. I'll do the other one. I guess. Except okay. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's pizza and an old old jambalaya here. Um, jambalaya, yeah. Some jambalaya. That old jambalaya is kicking, <laughs> kicking in. Yeah. Um, let's go with guns that never seem to run out of ammo. Oh, ammo, sure. ammo, unlimited ammo. Guns. Yeah, unlimited ammo. All right, show me unlimited ammunition. 
right. Uh, oh. Number 20 on the list. Oh, man, it helps to know it was on the list. That actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and high enough on the list, too. Uh, Brian and Amy, this is your last strike. Let's try and get Ooh, some points Amy. on the board. Oh, oh. dear. Okay. Well, I had I had an idea, interestingly enough, kind of spurred by the the clip of Randy saying naked people. Mm. What about like the trope <laughs> where like after sex, the woman always pulls up the sheets up over her chest? Okay. You know, like okay. <laughs> I mean, like yeah, that's right. Um, you just saw me naked for the last not, eighteen minutes. If you minutes, have a better but, one, Brian, right. I'll go with it. But I like that. <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm too shy. Yeah. Trope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was wa- that's funny you bring that up because this is I'm not kidding about this. I'm watching The Wire. I'm in season. I'm finishing or I just finished season two, and there's a yeah. scene in that thing where I went, "Oh, this show doesn't do that." Like most shows, even the hot and heavy crap on HBO, always do the pull the sheet up thing. But in this right. scene, they didn't. And, and yeah. I went, "Oh, yeah. well, that's uh, you're going against type here because you're HBO, I guess, and this is what you do in The Wire." But uh, yeah, Amy, a- I. That's- I'm down with this, but what what if we modify it a little bit? It, 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 when you said that, it made me think that you know there's always the the homely girl that turns into the hottie, and she's usually the one that like makes those bad decisions and then pulls to her little sheet up on her. Is that, oh, is that the same yeah, lady? That's, no, but that's that's really good. Like uh, glasses make you ugly is oh, a great that's trope. That's a good one, right? 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 Like. And like Brian all you be, need for a makeover yeah, yeah. is to remove is to cut your hair and remove your glasses yeah, and then suddenly you're right. hot. Yeah. I, I actually like that answer. Suddenly you're hot trope. How about that? Yeah. Is that is that Brian, kind of, Brian like is a generous range? lover. He's a generous lover. He's gonna help you here. What are you gonna give him, Brian? <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, is that is that what you're going with? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. show me yeah. uh the glasses. Take those glasses off. Whoa, look at the swan. Yes, that girl was hiding behind glasses the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. That's a long answer. Oh, my. It's the longest one I've ever fit on to a uh, (laughs) a tadpooly feud box. Wow. We had to really work that one in, man. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I was worried. I was worried. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. All right. Now I'm thinking about the, oh, there's so many great romantic tropes. I mean, all the romance movies seem to be just like tropesville. Yeah. Oh, Stay they're just full those. of them. Yeah. Maybe, maybe no. Yeah. Maybe no. Okay. Stay away. No more. No more. No more sexy girls. Okay. From uh, librarian to sexy girl. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you guys both out because you both are on two strikes. Think uh, action movies. Okay. Think, uh, slasher movies. All right. A single okay. bullet explodes the car. How about that? Like. Like, oh, all you again. have to do is shoot, you know, you, you it, hit a exploding, car with, with exploding one bullet cars. and it explodes. Yeah, yeah, okay. everything is flammable. Cars That's always explode. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah. everything is flammable, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Show me the exploding car. Uh, yes. Yep, and it even includes the slow motion walk away by the hero who doesn't even look back to see that the car exploded <laughs> behind him. Damn it. Very good. All right, uh, that was a good one. This is good. I think good you guys, if you low get... points, but high on the board. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, let's mm-hmm. see. How about the? Uh, no, Scott's already said that one. Oh man. Um. Oh, I think I'm watching I films in my head right now. Going through them. Why it's am all... I thinking of the bandits? Everything in the bandits seemed like a trope, but it's not. The bandits. Oh, the. Uh, yeah. Billy Bob Thornton, Bruce Willis. Billy Bob Thornton, right. Oh, I never saw mm-hmm. that. Have I seen, did we see that? You see, we did we on Film, film Sack. Sack. <laughs> oh, I don't of remember just that. Seen it. Did we really? I yeah. I don't remember that. What yeah. about a bad guy monologue? Oh, like, that's good. Does that good. count as a trope? I yeah, let's get Glass up die, here and, and let him do his little monologue here. Yeah. All right. Uh, show me those exact words that Amy just said. Oh. Bad guy monologue. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and it's number 10, which means... Uh, ah, that's big, good yeah, points. Big points. That's, that's right good there. points, yeah. No, you've foiled my plans for the last time. I'm going to take this uh, bomb and put it into the city's water supply. Mm, and, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. and I'm going to do it with these five or, f- five or six right. logistical choices, and the people involved are these names. But you'll and be the dead, Achilles so- heel of that machine is the fact that the... Uh, <laughs> But it doesn't work if you split this one switch. Yeah, it's very yeah. Skeletor. I love it. Yep. All right. Four hey, more answers on the every, board. How about everybody's related? 
How about oh, that? Oh yeah, okay. Uh huh. Like uh, oh the, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, like everybody's a it's Skywalker. Like, oh, you're my yeah. father. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Right. Star Wars is a good place to hang out for tropes. I think that's yeah, a smart one. It is. Yeah. All right, show me the uh, Luke. I'm your father, brother, sister, mother, cousins, babysitter <laughs> with the huge testicles. <laughs> Uh, oh. uh, number thirteen on the list uh, was the you know the um, the mysterious uh, connections, the the right. family connections, the surprise uh, surprise connection. Can I do one one guess that I've been holding? Well, you still have one. You still have guess. one. Yeah, get a guess. Oh yeah, yeah, I still have a, I still have a thing. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, the the lone. Uh, I don't know if it's the same as the lone gunman, but I'm thinking of like John McClane in the yeah. Nakatomi just by himself has Long to take wolf. on everybody mm. one mm. guy versus everybody I don't know if that's in there or not but something Good. like that all right okay let's see if it's in there oh, show yeah. me a uh, lone gun McLean <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you kidding me <laughs> it uh it's number it is in here it is the uh yeah. lone wolf lone, lone wolf. where yeah. is it yeah there's so many um, of them like all the old spaghetti westerns and movies like logan and and john wick and they're all that yeah yeah well there's another trope that john, the john wick thing falls into and we'll get to that in a second okay. here okay. uh but that uh, first off amy wins so congratulations yes, amy. congratulations amy. amy good job Phew! Yeah. that was i was sweating that, was... that for a little while yeah. <laughs> winner winner rough. chicken dinner by the hair of your chinny chin all right brian ex- that's uh, right okay show let's let's look at the last four here yeah. show me number four uh, Will Will Helm Helm scream. scream. Not really a trope, but just a thing that uh, once again I'm sick of people putting in movies. Yeah, yeah. Tadpool. Yeah. Tadpool sees it as a trope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Tadpool the one that facts. kind of the the John Wick, the Taken, the um, stuff like that falls into. Give my daughter back. Secret, what is it? Secret antihero. So oh. the the uh, the guy who's Man, kind it's... of a badass, but you don't know he's a badass until somebody shoots his dog, takes his daughter. Right. Uh, if you guys want to see a trailer for a cool one of those coming out, there's a movie with um, uh, We Thought You Was a Toad. What's his name? Um, oh, really? Tim Blake Nelson. Tim Blake Nelson. It's in a thing called Old Henry. It's a Western. Uh, oh, but it looks I like... will see anything that has Tim Blake Nelson. That he's yeah. He is, for me, the unsung hero of that, that um, Netflix cowboy thing oh the, um, uh the the coen brothers thing uh the, the yeah, uh, coen brothers ode of thing, yes. uh, the the ballad of buster scruggs yes yeah yes. he's buster scruggs that, mm-hmm. he was buster scruggs <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right. was. yeah no he's great dude he'll do no harm and in this movie it's one of those i oh, don't stuff in my past i ain't proud of it's one of those tropes <laughs> yes and I literally can't every Liam Neeson movie too yeah. from now on like even though he's not still playing the Taken dude yeah. everything could just be called Taken yeah. now he's on a yeah, train yeah yeah I've got some skills I love it oh the chat room's Taken got a good the one train. Ja- chat room says all aliens speak English is that one on there oh uh, that's a good one not. I was... surprisingly oh, not man. there is alien invasion but it didn't make the list all right let's see who's last two number seven yeah uh, let's split up. Now, I would, I would have accepted any slasher movie. Um, let's have sex while a killer's on the loose, I, or well, let's yeah. run upstairs from the killer. Things like that. Yeah, um, that we should, we should have thought of that one. Halloween's coming up. I should have thought of that one. Yeah. I I failed in that. Somebody apologize. somebody in the chat room suggested the black guy dies first. So oh, yeah, like oh, that yeah. would have been Man. that would have probably yeah. fallen under that that header for Brian there. Is that number <laughs> eight? Oh, it could have. Yeah, it could have. It's not number um, eight, is it? And then uh, last one on the board, number eight. Uh, time travel saves the day. Oh, so uh, we don't know how to finish this movie, but time travel will fix it. I got to go through some of these other ones, though, because they're fantastic. Um, the MacGuffin or Chekhov's gun. Montage, only 14. I thought Montage should have been like number one or two. Yeah, right. Uh, wise old man, badass damsel. So um, not your damsel in distress, but you're like uh, uh, you're flipped it. atomic you're flipped it. blonde. You're... Mm-hmm. Um, you know those kind of characters. Sure. Cut the red wire is a is a popular oh, trope. That's a good one. Uh, the he's behind <laughs> he's one. behind me, isn't he? Trope. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, manic pixie dream girl, uh, number yeah. twenty two. Unkillable oh, Randy, bad guy. Randy was he's definitely dead. yelling that pixie yeah. girl thing. He says that all the time. It's he a favorite of one. his. Yeah. Yeah. Unkillable bad guy. Uh, you fought. You know, getting back up after being shot a million times. The yeah. enemies to lovers rom com trope. Uh, falling when trying to escape from the bad guy, any any sort of fumbling or screw up that you know the killer's behind you and you make uh, fish out of water. There's your lone survivor, lone wolf. Um, a cave that looks like a 
Uh, yeah. We've got it here. Uh, we can't say that on TMS. <laughs> I don't only, know. We, we, we probably can. Hours film we, sack. we can and do, and I don't know why. <laughs> um, Final Girl, uh, you know, the, the last girl to survive in a slasher movie. Okay. Um, heist, uh, superhero landing, like basically landing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's been very. Three, the three mm-hmm. point superhero landing. Yeah. Trinity did that um, this past weekend on yeah, the Matrix. She did. She, she did. She did. Yeah, she yes. Did first. Uh, here's one of my favorites. All redhead females are sexy. All redhead males are villains. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is. I haven't thought about that. I like oh. that. Either, but it's a, but well, it's hold a, on. It's a, Amy, oh. Amy, as a redhead, how's that land on you? How's that feel? What do you think of that? I mean, She's you know, it's either that. that or I was actually going to say all redhead guys are dorks. So, like, there's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Richie Cunningham kind of, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. With the potential to be evil. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. That air, that uh, it's always wet in space. Uh, oh, one. yes. <laughs> Love that one. Yeah. Uh, give me your gun and your badge. Um, oh, yeah. Let's yeah, I see. almost said that uh, angry chief captain. Angry police captain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of these, you know, uh, conniving villain, cop who plays by his own rules. That's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Um, cop who plays by anyway, his own rules. Anyway, there you go. Oh, I just on that one. That's a fun one. Yeah. I know. Right. It's so fun. There's yeah. a lot of these that just had one, and it's like, oh, yeah, furniture uh, stops bullets is a good one. <laughs> Oh furniture. yeah! Oh, we yeah. just saw that. On, People get on behind Zorro, like, a, like a, wasn't furniture. Get behind that! Yeah. Get behind that couch! Get behind that IKEA fur glog or whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah, it seems like a, a common one. Well, that I is for the fun. One of the funnest ones with like some of our worst performances we've ever done. <laughs> uh, but we'll take it, yes. and that means that uh, Amy, you win. You're a redhead with with the winning flag. Good job. I don't know what that means. Right on. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. You guys are so much fun. Well, I no appreciate worries. It. Oh, email Brian for your winnings because, you know, you can't go home empty-handed, and he'll hook That's you right. up. Uh, have a fantastic week, and we'll see you next time. All right. Brian Dunaway. I really, I, I really enjoyed that one. I enjoyed the roller coaster ride of emotions that Ibit experienced from being excited <laughs> to being Oh no, this is right. going to be bad. Mm-hmm. That one, say that okay. one. No, not that one. Don't say that right. one. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get let's get a final word from Randy on this since he was so involved in it. Hold on. You're, you're a white guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I knew yeah. that. Well, all right. I feel like I, I knew that. I feel like I knew as a white guy. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, hey, uh, speaking of film sack, this weekend we're doing Alien 3. Three. Yeah, baby. I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait I to watch this. Do the aliens speak French in this one? Nope. I can't remember. No. They speak no, that prison. Was, that was Coneheads. Oh, that was Coneheads. Yeah, Coneheads was great. I love Coneheads. Coneheads is underrated. If you guys have never mm-hmm, seen totally. the Coneheads thing, uh, it is one, it's my, I think it is my favorite SNL uh, thing where they took a and skit and you're it not including Blues Brothers, are you? I don't like Blues Brothers very much. Wow, really? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm broken or something. No, it, wrong it with is. Me. It is one of those uncomfortable movies. Like yeah. it's a. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Maybe it's too old. Maybe I f- maybe I feel like it's too old. <laughs> maybe it's too old. It's, it, was, it was made in your lifetime. Well, it anyway. was, but it was made when I was a kid. It was like seventy <laughs> something, right? Like it was real, yeah. real. Yeah. I was late seventy eight, seventy nine, eight, yeah, yeah. Maybe something like 80, that. Yeah. It's fine. I'm not saying that mm-hmm. Blues Brothers mm-hmm. is bad, but uh, there's something about you know what it is. It's because Conehead shouldn't work at all, and it works. Yeah, yeah, I think that that is right. Exactly. Like you can guess that. Wayne's World is going to be is going to do well. You can mm-hmm. uh, um, you can predict right. how Night at the Roxbury is going to be, or Stuart Smalley saves the world, or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. um, would you count Office Space as a movie that came from SNL? No, because it did come from the Mike Judge animated shorts. shorts that he yeah. that he did for he did SNL. Shortly. I didn't know. Yeah, that, did I knew about the while. shorts, but I didn't know those were for S- for SNL. I had no idea. Those are for SNL yeah. and yeah. the Milton. It was all Milton, Milton was the yep. subject of the shorts. And, Red stapler. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm I'm gonna burn this place down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're making me want to watch Office Space, and so if that's connected, then maybe that's my favorite. Now that you've said Cone, that, yeah, yeah. Coneheads is is uh, free on the. Is it the Peacock? I think it's the Peacock. Yeah, it's the peacock. Yeah, the, the peacock. peacock. Yeah. The guys on the peacock. The peacock over there, down to the peacock. You can watch that. One I'm for just free. saying, maybe after we get through with the scary stuff in in October, maybe we just, you know, maybe we just visit the coneheads because we don't want to make fun of it, but mm-hmm. maybe did, just revisit. Did we not anyway. do? We haven't done it, right? We haven't done coneheads. Just no. Asking. On the film sack. Let's see, filmsack. Lee. Oh wait, that doesn't go anywhere, does it? Mm. Uh, we can't mm. find it. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, well done. Uh, so that'll be Alien 3 this weekend, a prison planet alien movie, uh, which a lot of people at the time didn't like, but has grown on many people as time has gone on. Mm -hmm. I always liked it um, and hated parts of it, too, at the same time. So it's going to be thick, rich discussion this thick, weekend. Thick, rich discussion. Thick, rich, <laughs> <laughs> smoldering hot discussion about Alien 3. So check that out this weekend on Film Sack, filmsack.com for details. Brian, anything else you want to say before we unceremoniously hey, man, kick you yeah, out? Yeah, I play video games for a video game podcast me and Scott do on Mondays at 5.30 called The Boop Show, and I do my homework do, through the week, but this Thursday I'm playing Graveyard Keeper at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time right before the core. How many plugs is that? It's a lot. Am I out? You're well. No, you get as many as you want. You have free reign around here. So you can yes. Say, yeah. You could say. Plus, oh, you don't have I'm any taking... show notes, so I'm just I'm just trying to know. <laughs> longer, yeah. longer. You could say I'm having a long bath at noon, and we'd let you say it. You can say whatever you want. You can say, say anything. You want. Yeah, except now where say I'm going to kick you out. You... Okay, now I can't say anything because I've kicked him off the call. Now there's nothing. He's gone, just like that. Nothing he can say. We'll uh, looks back. like uh, Milton also premiered, or not premiered, but was also Liquid Television, but it, uh, uh, the Milton shorts aired on Saturday Night Live in the mid-1990s, um, also appeared on Liquid Television in the 1990s. So didn't um, so I know Beavis and Butthead premiered on Liquid Television, or that's where I first saw it. Did that also Did it, move around? Well, I know it was, you know, it's an MTV mainstay for years. Yeah, I don't that, think but... that was ever anywhere else. I don't think... Okay. Um, I don't think those ever appeared on SNL. Liquid Television was one of my favorite things on this planet, man. I love that. It was like getting blood, sex, and robots or whatever that's called. Yeah, like, yeah. Every day. It was like every week there was like new weird stuff. And oh, I love that stuff. Wish there was more of that these days. All right. Or maybe there yeah. is and we're just embarrassed with all the riches that we have. And I just Well, you still need to watch uh, um, Short Circuit on Disney Plus if you haven't yet. It's in um, my queue. The little uh, add to queue. It's in my queue. Good, good. Yeah. That's a start. That's a start. All right. It's the beginning of, of what might potentially be a watch. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. We're gonna oh, do, uh, it always works like that. <laughs> we're going to do some uh, some very fast and very efficient news gathering. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. In the news this morning, good morning. The news today is brought to you by... Well, let's see if there's any uh, time for news after this. Uh, from one of the creators of Botched, the D&D podcast, comes the story of Solomon, a man from a time long forgotten. Thrust into responsibility, he must decide how far he's willing to go in order to protect those he cares about. The consequences of desperate decisions leads to the world's first werewolf. This is Lycan, Solomon's Odyssey, a fully illustrated 60-page graphic novel, the first in an ongoing series spanning across different cultures, mythologies, and folklore throughout history. This Kickstarter is fully funded and set to end on the morning of September 3rd, uh, really, they mean October 3rd. If you would be interested in backing a dream more than 10 years in the making, search for Lycan, L-Y-C-A-N, Solomon's Odyssey on Kickstarter, or just head over to HiveHeadStudios.com or clockfox.net because Dennis has some really weird patrons. <laughs> Dennis would like to thank everyone who's already backed the project and anyone who backs it after hearing this message. You'll never truly know how much it means to him. And thank you. Oh, very nice. So go check that out, you guys. It's right. September 3rd, but that's the end of this week. October 3rd is Sunday. It's got That's got to be what that's he means. It's got to be yes. October, right? He must have yeah, been October. Yeah, I would think so. Yep. I would assume so. Uh, squirrel yes. stores thousands of nuts inside a man's parked car. Okay. You were hoping I'd say scrotum. I really was. Yeah. Uh, you hear nuts and you just immediately want it to go there. Yeah, you want it to go scrotum, but it didn't here. A man in North Dakota has been saddled with a massive cleanup job caused by tiny furry perpetrators. The red squirrel will come from behind, run along the frame rail, and all the way up to the front, says Bill Fisher. He's talking about his car. <laughs> He's like, he's probably pointing at a video. Yep, that red squirrel come behind, run on the front, run all the way up to the front. <laughs> you damn squirrels always ride runners. Speaking of Mike Judge. <laughs> yeah, doing a, doing a full boom hour. Uh, Fisher cannot, just cannot win the war. A beautiful black walnut tree in the yard produces nuts that the red squirrel finds irresistible. However, the nuts or the squirrel has picked uh, Fisher's Chevy Avalanche as the winter storage hideout for hundreds of these nuts. Although... The uh, headline said thousands, so I don't yeah. know why they say huh. hundreds now. What is it, Local12.com? Yeah, feels like maybe you're trying to pump things up with a more exciting uh -huh. headline, maybe. Sensationalize the nut storage. I see what you've done. 
Uh, anyway, he says each are about the size of a small lemon. That's pretty big. Wow, especially for hundreds. <clears throat> I don't know what a small lemon is considered, but I assume it's, you know, it's probably like that. Don, Don is a small lemon. A small, oh, uh, Don Lemon, got it. Yeah. Wait, what's he do? He's a... Uh, oh, he he's a, a news guy. Uh, reporter on CNN for a while. Yeah, new, news... Uh, Might still be, I'm not sure. I think he's a commentary guy. I don't yeah. know. I don't watch 24-hour news network networks because, and here's here's a, here's why, this is a controversial statement. They all suck. <laughs> that's true I, I don't know last yeah. time any of you watched any of that but they all tell you it's a thousand oh. nuts when it's really just hundreds I mean on paper 24 hour news sounds amazing on paper because it's like I'll yeah. be informed yeah. all the time anything sure. that happens even if it's in the middle of the night crack reporters and 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 and, and uh, photojournalists will be on the scene reporting to me what's going on that's what we all thought it would be and it turns out it's not that it's garbage. Yeah. It's yeah. garbage, wall-to-wall -wall freaking garbage. If something really important happens, it'll get covered by every news organization, actual news organizations, and not 24-hour <laughs> freaking money cycles. F those guys. <laughs> F them. They all suck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's see. He says, these nuts are in a lot of places in the radiator fan all the way through here. That corner's been covered with all these walnuts, says Fisher. Now he's calling them walnuts. Now he's walnuts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he says he's planning on can't. Uh, well, there are black walnuts. Yeah. Yeah. Are there? Oh. Oh. Are yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. But in this case, but the but they're but wait. What did the squirrel take though? He took. Oh, it doesn't he took say. Took plums. It yeah. He took he took black walnuts, because it's a beautiful black <laughs> walnut tree, or as they say on on uh, Craigslist, it's a BBWT. Who's my <laughs> Who's my favorite? Um, my favorite Sopranos character is that Walnuts guy. What's his name? Oh, Polly Walnuts? Polly Walnuts. Yeah. I love him. I was him. thinking Christopher Guest in uh, Best in Show. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Quit yeah. naming nuts. Yeah, <laughs> he's great. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. Uh, oh, I saw Bob, Bob Balaban the other day on, on something new. Oh, cool. He's a million years old. It's, <laughs> it doesn't, it looks <laughs> wrong because he always plays old. Like, even when he was young, he played yeah, old. Yeah, But now he's really old. What was it? Oh, we watched. We Kim started before she left town. She started watching The Chair, which is a Netflix. Oh, uh, I see that on there. Yeah, The Michelle Chair. Michelle Cho, uh, not Michelle Cho. What's her name? Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O. Oh. How did I get Michelle uh -huh. Cho out of that? <laughs> There's not even. I don't think there is a Michelle. It's also Cho. it stars Sandra O. Oh and Mallory Lowe. So why did you say uh, Margaret Cho? Cho. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Now, where do oh, I go? Oh, it's got David Morse and Holland Taylor. Yeah, David Morse, also old but looking great. But and Jay Duplass. Yeah, Duplass. one of the Duplass brothers, I think, yep. is what he is. Yeah, Those he guys, is I don't those. know what they do. They're, they're weird, man. One minute they're in they a are. thing where they're acting, and the next minute they're producing a giant series of things. The next thing they've got some yeah. documentary up for Oscars, and I don't I don't get what those two guys are up to. They're, they're mm -hmm. nuts. Good luck to them. Yeah. Uh, anyway. That's your story there. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, did you look at the photos of this this man's truck full of nuts? No, let's see. Dude, what, you, the, you know, I was thinking, well, this is kind of a dumb story. Then I saw the oh, photo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, chat, or, uh, people at home, it's, uh, imagine opening the trunk of your car, the hood of yeah. your car, and just, it's filled with these nuts. Here's here's what I want you to think about. You just picked up a brand new uh, monitor from Best Buy. It's in the box. You open up the box, and it's got your packing peanuts, and then the monitor is inside the packing peanuts. That's what his engine looks like. Yeah. Replace packing peanuts with nuts. It's with the uh, walnuts. It's, it's really something. It's insane. Like there is no more room in under that hood for anything else but nuts. And he had to take the. Looks like he had to take porter panels off and. Yeah, did, yeah, exactly. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. And look at those those nuts are huge. They look like onions. They look like uh, small onions. Yeah, or like an apple harvest or something. Yeah. That's just nuts. All right. <laughs> That's just nuts. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, I, it feels like a, like a throwaway story <laughs> until you see that photo and it's like, oh, oh, damn, okay, yeah. Yeah, that guy's got that car, that truck <laughs> has serious or nuts. Four, uh, four uh, like uh, Home Depot uh, barrel plastic trash barrel things, mm -hmm. five gallon barrels or buckets. Yep. Uh, oh, eight of them filled with those nuts that he cleared out of there. That's insane. I wonder how yeah. I was nervous when he first started the car after all that. I wonder how that felt. Like, okay, here yeah. it goes. 
Oh, it smelled like uh, chocolate chip cookies, freshly baked chocolate chip cookies when he did it. So that was nice. Oh, that reminds you of home and mom and stuff and growing up. Yeah, that's right. I like that. Oh, J.C. Kellen says they clearly say Menards. I didn't look close. I just saw those plastic, those uh, ubiquitous buckets. They say, they, Men- they say Menards on them? Menards. <laughs> Does it really? Are you kidding me? Do they, they really say-, say Menards? Hold on. If they say Menards, that's that's the best unintentional joke. I feel like we got punked. Did we get punked? We might have been punked. Yeah, I think we got punked. That's a pretty good punking. That's oh, like, the green ones are Menards. Those green, the green ones in the back are Menards. Perfect. What do you got in there, Menards? <laughs> Menards. <laughs> uh, that's great. All right. On that. Oh, note, that's fantastic. We're gonna take a uh, a break. When we come back, Tom Merritt will join us. Do a little tech time catch up, and uh, then after that, Nicole with uh, with your recommendals for the week. So stick around. Hey, Brian, why don't you play yeah. me a song in the meantime? We're going to go up to Vancouver, Canada for this one for a a melodic punk rock quartet that all wear uh, jean jacket vests covered with pins. This is a band called The Core, C-O-R-P-S, or The Corpse. Mm. Corpse. (laughs) They have a, uh, yeah, The Core. They've got a brand new single uh, for their song Hazardous, so that they're releasing for their song Hazardous. They are an intense force of circle pit melodic punk rock. And um, totally, like if you dig uh, NoFX, um, uh, propaganda, uh, even a little bit of Blink-182 or, or some 41, I'd say, is in here as well. Mm. Here is the band, The Core, and their song, Hazardous. Would you rather fart really loud or poop your pants silently? Probably send in a text message. My kids are crazy over that. <laughs> Is my heart in it? I think my heart's in it. I think my heart's in it. This is the morning stream. All right, we're back, everybody. That song again was. That song again is Hazardous by the band The Core, C O R P S. Nice. That audio clip you played sounded like one of my favorite. It, it, I felt like it was one of my favorite lines uh, that Mantis said in <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> Play it again. Would you rather fart really loud or poop your pants silently? Yeah, it does sound like Mantis. Imagine she's she's asking Drax. Oh my uh, gosh, that's a real that's a deep cut. I, I she Tom sounds just Clementief, like that. Uh, yeah, I love her. She's great. Me too. Almost as much as I love our upcoming guest, which uh, we will introduce with this here sound clip. With the computer, as with any tool, the concept and direction must come from the man. My list goes Tom Merritt, then it goes Lady Who Played Mantis, and then everybody else. That's how it works. Aw. Yeah, I, you're right up there, I'm buddy. honored. Yeah, I don't well. know if I deserve it, but I'm honored. <laughs> well, deserve it or not, you're here, damn it. It's Wednesday. That means Tom Merritt shows up and does a little uh, tech news for us in the morning. A little tech time, we call it. Tom's tech time, to be uh, exact. Because later today, we do the Daily Tech News Show, the Wednesday edition, which I'm always on, which I always love being on. And part of that is because I get to cheat a little bit. Tom comes and gives us a little preview. So... Mm-hmm. So Tom, lay it on us. What is what is going on? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess you up. Uh-oh. I want to talk about the Amazon stuff from yesterday. Yeah! Oh, cool! I want to talk about that stuff too. All right, what happened at Amazon <laughs> yesterday? I mean, have... no no cheat codes for for Scott though. If I do <laughs> no that. work shopping uh, topics for. <laughs> yeah, I know I, yeah. that, and believe me, that hurts me as much as it hurts you. Of course. <laughs> oh, this is um, the is this? But the, yeah, uh, 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 now actually, I don't know what it is about. Tell me what happened yesterday. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, Amazon announced 6,000 different <laughs> products yesterday. <laughs> uh, it, all, all sort of uh, around the idea of voice services. Um, I, I don't even know which is the main announcement. I guess the Echo Show 15 is the main the, announcement because the you wall, will be able to buy it. Yeah, the wall unit versus the uh, the robot. Yeah, so Astro the robot, uh, the drone that flies around your house when you're not there to, with a camera, uh, so you can see what's going on. Uh, the little weird uh, thing that looks like a cell phone from the 80s uh, that lets your kids play games with grandma. Th- those are all by invitation. You're, you're all, you have to be asked uh, to buy them, to give yeah. them your money. Would you, uh, hey, which, would, uh, we'd like to invite you to spend $1,000 <laughs> on this robot. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's how they launched the Amazon Echo, if you remember. Yeah. It was limited sales. Uh, it's a way for them to find to kind of slowly roll it out and test it, see what the problems are with people who are the most enthusiastic about it. So um, 
I signed up for invites for a couple of things and they ask you questions like with the drone, like, do you have any floor to ceiling glass windows? Do you have any free roaming pets? I, I don't think those are to disqualify people. I think it's to make sure they're including a lot of different scenarios uh, yeah. in, in who they're, they're letting buy it. But the Echo Show 15, although it doesn't have an ac exact date, you have to sign up for an email to let you know when it goes on sale. Uh, they said it will come by the end of the year, $250, 15 inch wall mount, 1080p smart display. So it's like the Amazon Echo Show, uh, the little desktop thing that has a screen that works like an Amazon Echo, uh, except this one's thin enough that you can mount it on a wall. They're also gonna sell the ability to put it on a stand or mount it under a cabinet, say, in a kitchen or somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea is that this gives you a lot more visual indications of things, not just the voice control. It has all the same voice control uh, as the Amazon Echo Show, but it, because it has more screen real estate, it can devote half the screen to persistent what they're calling widgets. So you can have a weather widget or a calendar widget, uh, things like that. Or you can even have the entire screen devoted to photo display. Uh, so when you're not using it, it could just look like a picture frame. Uh, and it's got a black frame with a white bezel. So it's meant to look kind of like a picture frame when it's up on your wall. Interesting. It's cool. It does the camera do that follow you around thing? I know it's it's you know it's a static location, so it can't do the it would because yeah. it's running the same operating system yeah um mm -hmm. the 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 uh astro robot will literally follow you around the echo show yeah. 15 will not mm. uh but yeah i think it does have i think it does have that for for drop-ins and stuff the yeah. camera panning you know kind of mm -hmm. thing that it can do yeah this is interesting it also they... does visual id processing on device yeah so you can set it up to recognize who's looking at it Without oh. sharing that information with Amazon, it'll be, it's done on the device, uh, and that way, when you're looking at it, you see your calendar. Uh, when when your spouse is looking at it, they see their calendar. Uh, when your kids are at, at looking at it, you can set parental controls that show them kid appropriate content mm. uh, when they're looking at it. Uh, so that that's kind of interesting as well. Did you say whether this is the wall thing is battery operated or optional that way or? Oh, it's power. Okay. It's power. Yeah, right. two hundred fifty bucks. Uh, so no battery in there. Just right. just because they don't the way power. they the way they show it here. It's Big like, old oh. dangly cord yeah. uh, falling down. Yeah. Uh, from you know uh, they don't they didn't talk about that as much in in the uh, announcement, but they I don't know if you can do an in wall. Uh, with it or not, I know I, I assume it's going to be rated for that if they want it to be wall mounted. Mm -hmm. uh, but most people are probably not going to do that. They're probably just going to have a dangly cord, like, yeah. like you do with some TVs. I'll I'll deal with a dangly, I guess. I kind of like the idea mm -hmm. though. I like the idea of a plat panel that's sort of up and against a wall, and mm -hmm. I don't know something about that. Yeah, I, I custom built one over here that does like has weather. It tells me the next few days of weather on the bottom, but then it really just cycles through a set of photos that. Uh, um, uh, that I that I set up for it. It's a DAC board, and, and DAK is, board. Mm, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, and and that's a really good point. This is not technology you couldn't find. Mm -hmm. This is packaged up nice and neat in an ecosystem. In one nice little people. box, yeah. yeah Instead yeah. of having a bunch of wires on the back with, yeah, a Raspberry Pi and a <laughs> Wi-Fi, yeah. things like that. They don't I say. Mean, and and there's even yeah. some some packaged up. Uh, Android versions of this out there. Uh, Samsung has a limited version of this that it sells for quite a bit more money. Yeah. Uh, but but this is you know 250 bucks Amazon, and yes, they're going to be collecting data off your voice uh, stuff the way they do off of an Amazon Echo with with those permissions, and you need to be mindful of that and manage your permissions and and all of that. But they they are doing a lot with voice activation that is on device now. Uh, and uh, adding the ability to say, you know, do most of my voice processing locally and then auto delete it. Mm. They talk about how the, that's this, part of the new AZ2 neural engine CPU that's in the Echo Show 15. They say anything about audio quality or anything? Because one of the reasons people like their Echoes is they like to have a, you know, a music device they're using as, as a. Yeah, they, they didn't really talk about that because this is more about the screen yeah. than it is the speakers. So I, I would assume it's adequate yeah. <laughs> from that. Yeah, I won't love that. I think I think I'm I'm aiming more for sound quality. Uh, the little kids thing, real quick. Uh, that looks like Picard's desk terminal. It's the thickest, ugliest thing I've ever seen. So good luck with that thing. Yeah, but I it's guess... not even as wide as Picard's, right? Yeah. Uh, it's Zero. it's it's a little uh, eight eight inch portrait screen uh, in a big chunky uh, plastic block called the Glow, mm -hmm. and the idea is that 
uh, someone who wants to to talk to the kid. So so me talking to my niece is a great example. Sure. Uh, my niece has the glow. She doesn't, but let's you know for sake of argument, she has the glow. It projects a game onto a white mat that you set in front of it. So she sees me and Eileen on the eight inch screen in front of her. And then we have the app on our iPad or Android device and can play the game with her. She's touching it, projected on the white mat and it has the technology that, that can inter let you interact with the projection yeah. while we're playing with her on the iPad. Oh, kind of cool. Seems yeah. all right. Yeah, I think I, I, I understand the value of it, but boy, is it ugly. And I know you do big- And it's, and it's and juice chunk. resistant. Yeah, ju that's the point, right? This thing is yeah. industrial for kids. Yes, it comes it. with, uh, I think it's a two-year warranty. Uh, yeah, two-year warranty against breaks and spills. Juice resistant. Juice resistant. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be a title choice is all I'm saying. That'll happen today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Orenthal Simpson cannot get at it. That's right. Uh, well, nice. Uh, so there you go. That and a whole bunch of other stuff. And um, chances are we'll break down more of that today uh, is is my guess. But uh, we might have a little bit about uh, about the Astro. Uh, there, there, there were some sources talking to Vice about the fact that uh, from what they knew, uh, this thing was ready to fall downstairs and, and not not ready for prime time, which might be one of the reasons they're doing invite only for Astro, uh, the robot. But if you want the full breakdown of the announcements, uh, the Daily Tech News show that's in your feed right now from yesterday has it all. Nice. I already yell at my echo. Will I yell at this robot is the question. Probably. Oh, if, yeah. If I had one. Yeah. But, uh, Astro. Astro. It won't pee. It. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> like I yell at one now where I'll say, play 70s rock music. And it will yeah. it will choose uh, the worst playlist or something just something that's yeah garbage and then it will or... follow you around playing uh, yeah Buzz then I want to playing the wrong uh, playlist uh, yeah. a little turd <laughs> isn't that great yeah, yeah. A little turd dog I can't wait all right well more on that today on the Daily Tech News Show two thirty Mountain Time for the live stream and of course the podcast information dailytechnewsshow.com. Tom Merritt anything else going on you'd like to mention today. Uh, no, but if you want to know what I'll have to mention by the end of the week, uh, freetimenewsletter.com is the place to sign up uh, and get an email from me just telling you what's going on with my books and my podcasts and all that sort of thing. Folks can email me back and I read all those emails and often uh, reply to those as well. Uh, so get 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 in on the game. It's good times. Freetomnewsletter.com. Good old fashioned emailing. That's you right. Know, kids with their their TikToks and their WeChats. Like we, we used do to do. Old. That's right. This uh that kind of it's fun to see that stuff come back into vogue. Uh blogs, yeah, blogs and other stuff. Like I, I kind of like it. We'll see if it actually does anything to the uh to the social sphere, but anyway. Let's start a BBS. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. We can serve gifts on there. It'll only take you 2 hours to download yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, it'll be great. Tom Merritt, everybody. He'll slow him down and so get the real experience. <laughs> Ace Detect on Twitter. Follow him there. We'll see you later. Bye now. All right. Okay. You know what my favorite thing of, of uh, today was? What's that? Um, I'm going to show you. All right, I'll put it in our chat. Now, okay. chat room at home, or people at home, you're hearing this and, and you're thinking, well, I can't see this. Well, I'll describe it after I've sent it to Brian. Okay. And I don't know why it made me Or laugh. in your car, if you're listening in your car, or on the train, or on the ferry, or whatever. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, oh. <laughs> this view of Brian's head really Just a close-up of my, my pink head. Yeah. Because of the color balance. And you held off. it there for a while, and it was nice. Did I? Yeah. What was I? I don't know I what you were doing. This. There, there you are again. I, don't know what I, was, I was looking at something up close, and I don't know what it was. I don't know. It was really weird. Hmm. I enjoyed it, though. Okay. Uh, Sam Jane says she misses forums. I don't know. Maybe forums will make a comeback. I don't know. Oh, you really zoomed in tight on me. That's that's why it looks like. Oh yeah, you're you're way more cropped here. than usual. It's because my lens yeah. right now is making me a giant head. Uh huh. And to make and it to so make you it don't even, look tiny, yep. <laughs> I had to do that until I get my other lens back because my first lens broke. Anyway, Aww. um, it's all good. A, hey, uh, we're gonna move on now. Uh, to do what now? Oh, Nicole, that's what now. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Now's the time. Let's get her in here. Let's get some uh, some recommendations going. I've been sitting on mine for too long. I need to get it out. Mm -hmm. Get it out. Yeah, get it into out, the, baby. Into the world. Yep. Where it belongs. All right. We are now uh, with us on the line looking at Nicole Spagnola, who's joining us, that's, as she always does on me. Wednesdays. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. Hello. 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 <laughs> Uh, so, are you are you a teacher yet? Are you a teacher now? But no, not yet. Oh. Not yet. I'm still waiting on them to 
run a background check on me. Mm. Uh oh, they're gonna find out oh, about well, that then cocaine they're, then thing. They're done. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna find out about all that cocaine you were you were a mule for for all those years. Stop. Do you remember they're that? Find about th- find out about this. <laughs> they're gonna find <laughs> out. Like, You're gonna find out. You come on Wednesdays on this terrible morning show and talk to us, and they're gonna go, "Oh, I'm so sorry." You're. We can't have you on here. Yeah, you're like, uh, you're gonna you know, do great. Maybe. I'm, I'm kind of jealous in a weird way because I don't know. Teaching's cool, and I'm jealous. I think this is rad. Even I had my, we had a, our first uh, 3D printing class with the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got upset that we weren't printing like the minute we started. Of course. Yeah. Well. And I'm like, we yep. need to set some. Uh, understanding and expectation about what 3d printing is yep. right and how long it takes <laughs> how yeah. long it takes yeah. yeah it takes forever <laughs> yeah you don't just sit down and print it like you do a piece of paper That's you right. gotta exactly yeah. benchy yeah you're looking about four hours come back yeah. uh, tomorrow and you'll see benchy yeah, that's funny because uh, I remember an animation class when I was really young, and I remember being really disappointed that the first day we weren't making animation. The first day we were talking right. about anatomy yeah. or the way uh, gravity works on human legs or some boring thing. Yeah. But then now I realize, well, no, you need all that. That was all really you important. You need to understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what we did. We we uh, we watched a video on the history of 3d printing and like where it's, where it came from, where it's going. And, uh, uh, you know, a number of the kids were like, what mm. <laughs> like, mind blown. Mm. But a few of them were like, I just want to present, print a whistle. Can just, I just print a whistle? Just want to print a whistle. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> what they had heard, you could do whistles and they were just, that's yeah, all they wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's great. Yeah. Kids they are great. They just want the thing. I'm yeah. like, I want so to if print I make Kelly LeBrock. <laughs> if I make you the thing, are you just gonna go? I mean, okay. that's kind of what it feels right. like. Here's my you here's my question: Are they are you gonna have these kids call you Mrs. Spag for short or full Spagnola? So, so I'm in two clubs. I'm in the 3D printing club and I'm in a journalism club. Yeah. Where um, decline. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Mrs. Spag in that class, yeah. and uh-huh. the, the 3D printing class calls me Mrs. Nicole. I oh. don't care either way. I know some yeah. teachers get like tight about it, and yeah, depending on the names, yeah. part of the country you're like, I've been to colleges where everyone was Miss or Mister, and if you didn't use those titles, it was really disrespectful. Um, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> they should call you the Resin Whisperer. <laughs> the resin whisperer? Well, I don't get that one. Because oh, you're 3D printing with resin. Uh, oh, oh. The wood, wood whisperer. I don't know if you know that your husband does this show called uh, Wood Whisperer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's really? Really? It's really yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah now should, I get you know, it. You should, you should help him. See if he needs any help with that. Maybe help him with that. <laughs> no way. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> hey, you want to you, you know something funny? What? Yeah. I think, I think my TikTok video is now more popular than Mark's TikTok video. That's awesome. <laughs> The, so the, uh, the kids in yeah. there Among Us. So the Among Us yeah. video went went pretty viral, and it's... It's 1.8 million views right yeah, now. Yeah, that's it's awesome. It's only been up for four days. Who, who, you never know when your stuff is TikTok fuel. You just don't know. Uh, it's but it's so perfect. Weird. It's perfect. But here's the funny thing. You sent it to us. I don't know if you shared it with anyone else, but <laughs> somebody on there actually thought you had made More COVID than, suits for your kids. Yes. Yeah. Not just one person. Yeah. Many people. Multiple people thought they were Multiple little COVID people. suits. Yeah. Some woman called, called you a me Karen. Ridicu- she called another woman called me ridiculous. And I said, the only person who's ridiculous is you because you can't see that this is from a video game. Right, exactly. Like, come on. I mean, I guess come I'm on. trying to imagine if you have zero idea what the game is and you've never yeah. seen anything related to it, then I guess you would be wondering. But even then, why jump to the conclusion? Maybe just look at some of the other just hundreds of comments. comments. Yeah, and then look exactly. at the hashtag. I say hashtag Among Us. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> In it. Maybe oh. people thought that oh, meant whatever. Ooh, Among Us. Like that's our little club of really careful people who are putting their kids in little <laughs> spacesuits. Some little liberal club. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That is so funny oh, to me. Kids. The kid. The, so the the story of it goes gave the kids the costumes early i mean this is like eight in the morning when i'm taking this video Mm -hmm. and they are so excited and they're like we want to walk around the block i'm like okay Mm -hmm. (laughs) so that's what they did at eight in the morning around our little cul-de-sac they walked it was painful because it's it's really hard to walk in those suits (laughs) and that's why you see ava going 
Uh, and I'm like, are you tired? And we hadn't, we hadn't even gone that far, and she was already tired. Yeah, so. they are not getting any candy if they don't if they don't figure out how to walk in there. They're not getting any candy and come uh, well, Halloween. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no armholes in those suits. <laughs> Oh, really? Are there? Oh, because I've not seen like the little, video yet. I've, so that's you have right. little handles inside that you hold the suit. Yeah. But as yeah. far as them being able to get candy, I get to hold the bags. Yeah, because they don't. If, the if the way those in the characters, the actual characters in the game, I'm trying to think, they don't. They don't have arms. Like, right? They have floating. They have floating hands in like the oh, cartoons. Oh yeah. So right. the cartoons will add like floating hands, but in the game. In the game, you have hands when you climb something. Yeah, um, yes, and they're floating hands that climb. Yeah. Or when you have, I think, a well, how is there ever even, a knife in your hand? I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, I don't know. well, I guess there oh, is because you can also backstab somebody. Here. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, I'm looking at these. Oh, okay, these are like the like inflatable dinosaur yeah. outfits yes. and stuff like that. Okay. For some reason, I, uh, I thought they were like form fitting or not form fitting, but like. They you know. have some that like it's a form fitting astronaut suit like with yeah. your arms. Those don't look they Yeah. Don't, they don't no, look these bad. are hilarious and the fact that anybody would see this and think that it's it's uh protecting your children at school from yeah. covid is yeah. the best. Yeah, it's pretty they awesome. They'll never be able to sit down. It's uh. like it's so ridiculous. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. It just shows other, people... My other favorite is your kids aren't getting enough oxygen. Oh, like, geez. Whatever. There's a Clearly... vent in the butt. There's yeah. a fan in it. Like yeah. these things have been around for many, yeah. <laughs> many They're years. They're not getting enough oxygen. But when you're talking like yeah. millions of views for something, this is this is what you get. Yeah, it's just a exactly, numbers yeah. It's a numbers game. I've never game. had anything expand past my circle. Yeah. And it's weird. It is weird. It's very weird. Yeah. It's so weird. I had one go like 500,000 or something on TikTok once. I don't even remember what it was about, but that place there's no telling you could yeah. smile on camera and go i'm going to lunch and two hours later that'll be the biggest tiktok thing in the, of the day <laughs> or or it'll be nothing with no views like you don't know you just yeah. never freaking know you just never know well well done yeah on that there uh, you go tiktok famous let's do this uh we're gonna do some recommendals uh stuff we've seen on streaming services over the last uh or since the last time we talked i guess we were here last mm -hmm. wednesday mm -hmm. and uh brian we always start with you do you have any setup for these uh, let's see. First one, oh, they're both they're both uh, TV series. Uh, one of them, this first one is on Hulu. 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 All right, here it is. Number one. That's what said. You're good thieves. Best in town. It is a small town. Hey, What's you your name? My recommendal. I'm Bear. Oh no, did I? It's Willie Jack. Yes. Oh. And uh, she's a Lord Denon. Like the baby in Willow. That's a great movie. It's a Ron Howard joint. Did you know Laura Dan was played by a set of identical twin girls? Kate and Ruth Greenfield. They used to switch out playing the character so neither would get too fatigued. You don't want to cry and baby on set. It rattles the crew. What is it? Be free with your words. Oh, Bear. Yeah, that's right, sir. Um, is it cool if we can keep the chips? The chips? Give me a buck. Just, just, just a buck. buck. Okay. You can have the chip. Chip. Now what happens is you just get up and walk out now. Okay. You stand up and you just go. You just, you just get out. I know, who, I, I know that voice. So uh, play my clip now. Oh. <laughs> Did you put a clip in here also? Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm so I'm sorry I sniped yours. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. All right. Here it is. I'm going to play it. Crazy hair. I almost used this clip. <laughs> Got beat up again, huh? Me, back in my day, I would have went at him like that, you know? Throw a spear in that little kid's head. You know that little white one? But yeah, you probably should have ran. I got some good ones in. Custer. Custer wishes he would have ran like that. Took off on his little legs. But he didn't, he died. I'm not gonna be here forever, so. The moment we're born, we're gonna die. No, I mean California. California, uh ho! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's where you're gonna go. You're gonna run away, head off west, dreaming big. They all just wanna run away. 
we are all just running away. Is this this is reservation dogs? I, yes, that's it exactly is. what it is. <laughs> okay. FX right. took me took me a second, but the uh, that's the first actor. Isn't that the dude from the second season of Fargo? Um, uh, he might have been on Fargo. I know he was on Parks and Rec playing. You know, yes, that, that's him. Uh, yes. I never remember his name. He's also on the the uh, that other show with uh, Katie Sackoff, uh, the Longmire. Yeah. Anyway, okay. he's great. I freaking love that dude. Yeah, uh, and very recognizable, very recognizable uh, voice. Mm. Um, yeah, this show is uh, Reservation Dogs. Nicole and I both watched it, clearly. Um, <laughs> it's a good show. It's a good show. It's really good. And my uh, and, and Tristan's girlfriend, Kay, who is uh, Navajo, uh, watched it, enjoyed it, and endorses it. So it's not like, you know, there's, no, there's nothing like derogatory or uh, is that okay to talk about this kind of thing and, and that sort of thing but mm. um it's also produced i believe executive produced by taika watiti yep and co-written by taika, taika watiti so it's got that that taika watiti humor in there follows uh uh four indigenous uh teenagers in uh, oklahoma as they work their way towards getting out of oklahoma and making their way to california and they're in that like a little gang <laughs> They're so, a little gang. They're 16 and, yeah. and a gang. And... and They're kind of as bad as the Gallagher's on uh, Shameless as far as like the, the stuff they want to try and get away with. And in, uh, in the clip that I shared, um, Bear, who's like the leader of the gang, he gets beat up. And he anytime he kind of gets knocked out, he has these visions of, <laughs> of the guy that you – and he's dressed in like traditional – uh native american um outfit like he has like the the beads on the chest the and he feathers has and the feathers sure. and so he's there to kind of like be a little guardian angel of sorts but he's really funny mm. <laughs> when he's yeah. talking to him yeah so. I, i'm actually really stoked to watch it it's been um as soon as i heard tiger with he was involved i immediately perked right up but uh I don't know how that guy has time for all the stuff he's doing. He's just so busy now. I know, right? Uh -huh. He's making mm -hmm. Oscar-worthy movies. He's making multiple TV shows. They're all great. Uh, I know Wellington Paranormal is, is he's executive producer, but it's mostly, um, what's his name doing it? Um, Jermaine. Jermaine's, that's kind of his baby Jim or his spinoff. Yeah. And but then, he doesn't, he, I know he's working on the next, uh, what, Thor, Love and Thunder? Yeah, that's Tyson the other, yeah, so major Hollywood movies coming out. Yeah. Like, I just, and you know Mandalorian involvement like the guy's just everywhere right now and I think that's great we can oh and he was the he was freaking rat catcher's dad on on the suicide squad <laughs> and like, he was Hitler oh yeah he was right yeah exactly yeah yes. <laughs> so it was really cool anyway yeah. uh all right well I'm dying to see that yeah reservation that dogs it's an FX show uh, on Hulu eight episodes and uh half an hour long each a lot of fun really really funny very nice. We just Carter and I and just watched. Oh, good. Heartwarming's good. Mm -hmm. Carter and I just watched the first two episodes of the new season of uh, What We Do in the Shadows, and it's of course spot on and perfect oh, again. It's so. so good. Yeah, it's so good. I was gonna recommend that, but I've recommended it way too much. But the third, yeah, the third season. We'll just keep recommending it, it until we we're dead. Yeah, we're third season now. Is where we're at. So. Did you watch the casino one? No, we're yeah. so we we padded it a bit so that we had a few, oh, but I, uh, mm -hmm. I just got to the one where Colin Robinson. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was last night. Uh, we haven't crap. started the new season. Crap. I don't remember what happened, but I was laughing so hard I couldn't stand it. It was laughing so hard. Anyway, it was when he was bonding with um, what's his the other guy, um, Barry, his character. Oh, Laszlo. Laszlo. They, oh, like, yeah. They like became buddies in, in an episode, and they like dismantle a car. Is that the one you? you I don't think that. I don't think I'm there yet. No. <laughs> I can't wait. That sounds oh my great. God. All right, you so got funny. me. You got so me stoked funny. to keep going. We're gonna watch some more tonight. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, Brian, your next link. My here. next one. I'm. In, I'm hoping uh, this. This feels too out there uh, for Nicole. So I'm hoping. I, I don't, don't have anything else. You don't have, I'm I have nothing else. <laughs> it's okay. Aww. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, series from HBO Max. All right. Here it is. Okay. Are we ready? I just want to make sure that that weird lipstick that we got me isn't. It tends to put like a ring around your mouth hole. What do you mean? Um, she got me a permanent lipstick. Who? And so, 
My daughter ends this all the time that I need it because she says I have no lips and it's so embarrassing. You don't feel the pressure like a lot of news anchors about those kinds of things, do you? No, I have to accept how I look. <laughs> I'm Dan O'Donnell and I am the news director and also the assistant manager of the station. That was a really good show, guys. I report, I anchor, write, I do camera work. We have to come all the way over here now. You know what, right here, it just works right here. Do you do this at a crime scene? I listen to Scanner, I got on Spot News. I'm actually 24-7. What do you have? Do you have anything good? Can you arrest a bunch of people for me so I can have something good? Yes. I'm sure something will happen. Somebody was like texting me that this, these dogs were like eating this dead body and um, the guy let like his wife be dead in the house for a while and the dog started eating him and he was neglecting the dogs or something like that. That was a long time ago. I know, but why did they bring it up to me the other day? Maybe they called you because there was another death and it wasn't found for a while and the dog was eating her to stay alive. Oh, this is a new one? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> what? I want to see. This I, is I, uh, HBO, right? Yeah. This is HBO. This is a documentary series called Small Town News KPVM Pahrump. <laughs> this is um, a... This is so it's a it's a documentary like this is real stuff that this woman that can barely talk is a news anchor and she's like smacking. So, yeah, the, the lipstick around my mouth hole. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at her now. My gosh, look at this lady. OK, wow. <laughs> so this Small is all about a crazy. Pahrump local news station uh, in Pahrump, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. And they're working on expanding into the Las Vegas market. There are six episodes. Um, just started <clears throat> at the beginning of August, so it just wrapped up its season. And uh, you follow these, I don't know, like seven or eight people that um, that run the station. There's a lady who who climbs up the tower to install new dishes, like new satellite dishes and stuff like that. There's uh, a couple newscasters, one that's like super weird and religious. I mean, they're almost like they're almost like characters that have been created for the show. Mm. The um, owner is the super conservative guy in a, you know, working in a station full of more liberal minded people. Mm. Um, See the guy in the red shirt on the front. Is that that yes. Dude? Yeah. Okay. The main, main bald dude. Mm -hmm. um, it is fascinating and hilarious and feels like a mockumentary, but it's, but it's, but it's real. Yeah. I, the reviews are really good too. People really seem to like this. Wow. This is so yeah. up my alley. I, this is my, this is the kind of thing I love. I love the quirky, uh, you know, sometimes disturbing look just under mm -hmm. like something that's going on that I just didn't ever hear about before. It reminds me of the, the, whatever the, that movie, the wonderful whites of West Virginia. Yeah. 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 I'd love that kind of stuff. So, uh, in. for sure. Again, it's the 30 minute episodes, six of them. You can get through this in an afternoon and i i recommend you do it is uh i stumbled on this while i was in california uh for the disneyland trip and i couldn't fall asleep and so i turned on hbo at two in the morning and one of these episodes was on and i couldn't could not wait to get back home and get tina to watch these all um with me um again it's called small town news uh kpvm Pahrump, but you know just small town news is fine and um HBO Max, and it is hilarious. Carter in the chat room, my daughter says uh, she looks like Patty, the daytime hooker from uh, from Bob's my name. Burgers. Is, no, my name is Earl. <laughs> oh, my name is Earl. Yeah, yeah. she kind of does. And you'll you'll be amazed. Like you listen to her talk, and she's like constantly licking her lips and doing weird things with her mouth. And you're like, how is this woman the main anchor on a on a newscast? I love it. I love it. All right. I'm in on this. Yeah. I like stuff like this. The last time you recommended a limited documentary series, that was that dude that just went around New York trying to oh, understand yeah. stuff. I love How that. How to with uh, Wilson. Yeah. Oh, How to John Wilson. Yes. John Wilson. Yes. I don't remember and they which have another, one. And another season coming up this later this year. I can't oh, wait. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, Cannot okay. wait. I love that so you know, much. You know he's got like so much archive footage of like, <laughs> and sometimes people just like to kick a can. Yeah. <laughs> well, plus this, like it's all pandemic time for his new season. So I wonder what he's going to do with yeah, it. Right? Yeah, right. Because it ended right. with the pandemic starting. That mm -hmm. was so wild. I hope his yeah. landlady's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that sweet little old lady. I hope so. Dude, I love that. All right. That's good to hear yeah. that's coming back. All right. Um, 
I'm going to play a clip now. This is for my recommendation today. And I've been talking about it on and off in other contexts, so everyone's probably sick of me talking about it already, so you probably already know what I'm going to recommend. But it's an older movie from 2003, and it's one of my favorites, especially in the genre it's in. And here's my clip. You're right. Say some words. You want to speak with the man upstairs, go on and do it. I'll stand right here and listen, hat in hand. But I ain't talking to that son of a bitch. And I'll be holding a grudge for him letting this befall a sweet kid like Moe's. Well, he sure as hell wasn't one to complain. Woke with a smile. Seemed like he could keep it there all day. Kind of man that'd say good morning and mean it, whether it was or not. Tell you the truth, Lord, if there was two gentler souls in this world, I'd never seen them. Seemed like old Tig wouldn't even kill birds in the end. Well, you got yourself a good man and a good dog, and I'm inclined to agree with Boss here about holding a grudge against you for it. Yes, that means amen. <laughs> All right. I'd like That'd to. Be open I'd like range, to thank Scott. Yeah, it would be open range. I'd like to thank Brian though for pouring his coffee on his mic uh, during. The, I, did, uh, I did that just for the cold. Let's see if I could get who's peeing. <laughs> yeah, we needed another who's peeing uh, moment from last week. <laughs> Uh, so it's it is open range. It came out in two thousand three. It was the uh, third and final movie that I'm aware of that Kevin Costner directed. Um, he hasn't directed anything since. Been in tons since, but not directing anything. Um, that was him, and you heard uh, Robert Duvall there with him. Uh, other notable people: Diego Luna's in this. Uh, he's amazing in it. Abraham Ben Ruby's fantastic. Uh, that's one of the characters that he was uh, being sad about there. Michael Gambone, you know him as the new Dumbledore, the replacement Dumbledore. He's in it. Dumbledore 2.0. Yep. Annette Benning, <laughs> uh, Michael Jeter in his last role, and one of my favorite things he ever did. Uh, loved him in this. Um, and Kim Coates. Streaming? Uh, it's on uh, currently on uh, Amazon Prime until the 30th. So you got like oh, so a tomorrow. day. Today and tomorrow. Yeah, you got a day to watch it. Don't sleep on it. Watch it because it's an amazing Western. One of my favorites of all time. One of the best shootout scenes ever. And Kim Coates is in it. The guy who, uh, you ever seen Paper, is in it. And so it's pretty great to yeah. see Kevin Costner playing Charlie Waite, but who was also the Mariner, fighting Kim Coates again. It's great. Oh, good point. Yeah. yeah. Go. So anyway, the yeah, movie's I, awesome. I saw this when it first came out, and uh, it's been a long time, so I do need to maybe. I, I don't know if I'm going to wedge it in tonight, but uh, uh, I adore. I it. have. You... I, I actually did find one, but oh, I you, forgot that oh, we you watched, did? and you guys took a break. Okay. Um, what, oh, cool. what, do you, what do you got? It's an old one. Oh, is this... <laughs> I watched it with the kids. The kids absolutely loved it. And this is the thing so. we just put in the in our chat here. Okay. No, I'm going to put it. No, I'm going to see it. Trailer. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. I'm hitting play. Oh, my Lord. I think I know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what it is. All right. I had Throughout the history of motion pictures, there have been many big dog stars. Toto had a big adventure. <laughs> Petey. Had a I didn't big appetite. Preview the trailer. It's 1992. This is the kind of trailer you get in 1992. Yeah, this is, 90, this is an early 90s trailer for sure. There's Lassie. Okay. And Lassie yeah. had a big heart. You've come back. But now, Ivan Reitman, who brought you Ghostbusters, Kindergarten Cop, and Twins, proudly presents the biggest dog star of them all. I love how everybody's trying to guess. Yeah. Beethoven. There you go. Hey, oh. Brian, guess what the movie is. <laughs> I was thinking, was there a Marmaduke movie? I know Clifford hasn't come out yet. Like that, that we just saw the trailer for it. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah, so Beethoven. My, my kids love, like, Ava watches those dog movies on Netflix. Um Oh, Starbud or whatever. Air I don't know. Star Pup. Star Pup. Oh. oh my God, she loves these talking dogs. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna show you Beethoven. This is this is the kind of dog movies I grew up with. <laughs> <laughs> so I was still in high school when this came out. Um, I totally forgot 
all the actors that were in this movie. I forgot that David Duchovny and Patricia Heaton are in it. Mm -hmm. I forgot that Bonnie Hunt is in it. Mm -hmm. I never liked the dad. You don't like Charles Grodin? Oh, my God. I hate him. I don't like him. Oh. Really? Have you, you not guess? seen Midnight Run? You gotta watch Midnight uh, Run. Did I see Midnight Run? If oh. you haven't oh, seen you Midnight, Midnight Run, Run, yeah, you should make. I just, I don't like him as an actor, though. I just, I don't He's like a, him. I you love might, Charles you Brown. might like him. I mean, does he does always he just, play he jerks? He looks like he's a jerk in real yeah, life he probably yeah. is like, he looks like that kind of guy that i'm gonna read stories about and go yeah I mean, <laughs> yeah I, I you uh, you may not yeah, he I mean, just the dude just died so maybe uh there's stuff did he? yeah he just barely yeah. passed away i don't know uh, <laughs> but, oh don't you feel bad now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like him and everything he's in, but he may be a total jerk in real life. He plays a great jerk on Anyway, on yeah. he plays that part well. I mean, he's supposed to be the dad. But I have a different set of eyes watching this now, you know, from a kid's perspective. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, let's get this puppy. From an adult's perspective, I'm like, no, I would never just take this St. Bernard off the street. Mm. Um <laughs> But it was a it's a cute movie. The kids loved it. There's also um uh Oliver, what's his name? Oh Oliver Platt. Oh, human, oh Oliver Platt. I thought you were gonna say the little kid. Uh human head weighs seven pounds. <laughs> no, 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 no. The okay. bad guys are o Oliver Platt and yeah. <laughs> guy. my wife's human really guy. into Oliver Platt right now because he's on that Chicago Med show and she likes that yeah. show. And he's on there. But they're really, they're really young in it. Um, yeah. Trisha Heaton, Dave Duchovny, Stanley Tucci. Do you like the Isn't Great Muppet? Too. Do you like the Great Muppet Caper? Are you a fan of that movie? Because he's the bad guy in that one too. I yeah, didn't like Charles, him in that one Okay. Either. I'm just checking the Charles Grodin list here to see if there's anything you yeah. liked him in. Probably. It looks like you Let just. Me, I'm yeah. gonna go on. Uh, so I mean, I feel like I've seen Midnight Run, but. Maybe I haven't. It's so Maybe good. I'll put that down on my list to watch. It's so good. Yeah, you might change your mind about at least in that one case. You will let the Groden be the be the Groden, <laughs> right? Be let the, the Groden be the Groden. <laughs> be the Groden you were meant to be, because it's such a great movie. Oh, it's so fantastic. he just reminds me of like an actor that would have been on just you know BC rate movies like. Oh, uh, Midnight Run, by the way, currently streaming on Netflix. Oh, I yeah, know what is. I need to do. Yeah, no do. excuse. Yeah, that movie's yeah. all. You should watch it. Nicole. De Niro. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I'm, I'm looking. It's a. It's a, Don't have the kids around. It's a lot of swearing. There's, there's no well, sex yeah. or anything, but it's tons of swearing. Uh, Joey so, yeah, Katz is in that. Oh Beethoven. man, Tennis there Farina. Go. There are so oh. many cool actors. I'm telling you right now, you have no idea how much you're gonna love that movie. <laughs> We've probably overblown it, but still watch it. You probably yeah. just did. How dare you? Maybe. Yeah. He probably did. I mean, I have such fun. Wait a minute. Feelings. Was he in Daylight? Uh, who? Groden. Uh, Groden. Um, Was he one of the guys that they're trying to get to the top of the surface? I loved Daylight. Daylight. That movie. <laughs> With Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. The tunnel. I still think about that movie when I go through a tunnel. Hold on. 96. Daylight? Uh, yeah. No. Not seeing it. I see the movie. Okay, um, But he's... Yeah. Oh, you're thinking of Dan uh, Hadaya. Uh, she's yeah, she's thinking, talking, of, Nicole, thinking of Nicole. You're thinking of Dan Hadaya. You're thinking of you're thinking of that guy. They, he they look a lot alike. Oh yeah. 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 Do you maybe not like Dan Hadaya? <laughs> 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 this whole thing it turns out it was just Dan Hadaya the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh my gosh! Wait, me, I'm looking at the actors. I'm curious. Dan, Dan Hadaya is Hadaya. great. Who's that? Oh, he's great. He's, he's uh, Vigo Mortensen Tortelli. in Daylight. Yeah. Nick Tortelli. Yeah, Vigo Vigo oh, Mortensen's in Daylight. J.O. Sanders is in there. He's cool. Uh, no one else I huh. recognize. Sage Stallone, one of Stallone's kids. Yeah. Who's yeah. the guy that you think I don't like? Uh, Dan Hadaya. Dan Hadaya. He was uh, Nick Tortelli on Cheers. Yeah. Oh, Carla! Oh. <laughs> he was the bad. Oh, that guy. He's the skeevy like lawyer him. guy on the yeah, Adam family. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't mind him. Yeah, he's he's a lot I definitely of stuff know too. the difference yeah. between the two actors. <laughs> I may not know their names, but they yeah. physically look different to me. <laughs> he's great. I kind of want to just go on I a Dan Hadaya bin. Groden is just really good at playing 
jerky character is probably doing it so well that he makes you think he's a jerk in real life. Yeah, and that's, I mean, I guess that's a good sign of an actor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I forgot about Blood Simple. All right, anyway. Uh, All there's right. your list of movies, everyone, including yeah. a couple of bonuses there. So, Beet, Beet, Beet Oven is one of them. Beet it's oven. about a dog. Mm-hmm. Beet Oven. It's yeah. on Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Uh, you got your thing Brian watched called uh, WKRP in Cincinnati. No, what's it called? <laughs> Small Town News. Small, Small Town News. Small Town News. And, yep. uh, Reser- Reservation, Reservation dogs. dogs. And then yep. Do Not Forget and Do Not Sleep on uh, uh, Open Range, which is there till tomorrow. Oh, I thought... Yeah. I thought you said home on the range. No, no, no. Open, open range. range. Open range. Oh, hell no. That's a <laughs> yeah, very, very different, different thing. movie. Home on the yeah. range. I thought that was a cartoon. Open range, which I think is only... Uh, anyway, I don't. if it doesn't... If you can't find it or you're in a place where you can't get it, it's worth a rental. I just... If you like westerns at all, it's... Hey, By the way, uh, um, an open range is what Dermot McRolney uh, burned his unit on in American Horror Oh, it was an open, open range. Yeah, it was an open range. You're right. <laughs> He was standing there naked in front of an open range. There you go. Uh, Nicole, this is great because you write all these down and then I put do. them up on your Twitter account. And uh, Home on the Range or Open Range, either way, it'll be there. So uh, check that out, Nicole Spag on Twitter. Have a great week. You too. See you See next you, time. Bye now. Okay. Yep. I already know, by the way, I already know one of my recommendals for next week. Yeah. But I, I have still have 30 minutes left of the final episode. Because I was too tired last night to finish it. But, oh my god, it's so it's so weird and good and stupid and Ooh, good. Really? Not stupid. It's weird and good, and it's um. I'm into yeah. weird and good. I like it. Yeah, uh, you know, it's another Korean thing for me to recommend that you're not going to watch. Oh wait a minute! <laughs> it's not that guy, the just trained to Busan guy, his sequel thing, is it? That's not. No, that. it's not. It's not that. It's okay. not. But it's no, a Korean. All I'm going to tell you about it. Does it have English subtitles? It does. Does it have English dubbing? It does, but don't use it because it's distracting. Oh, I think I know what it is. We had a news story about it. Oh, did we really? Uh, go down to the second news story that we were about oh, to read. Oh, yeah, that's exactly is that right. The one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I saw this and thought yes. I this should thing watch is, that. is about to overtake Bridgerton as the most popular series on Netflix. Whoa. Ever. Does, it, does that mean it's got the sex in it? Is there the sexual... Uh... Um, there is sex in it. There is actually nudity. Oh, well, all right, yeah, Korea. Surprisingly. Yeah. yeah, look at Korea going all in there. Yes, but uh, right. no, it is... Uh, it's, I'm staking my... I'm planting my flag on it right now, but uh, if you want to watch it between now and then, then <laughs> we can talk about it. I'm just so excited for more what we do in the shadows later tonight. Carter, <laughs> Carter and I were laughing our heads off. That was some good dad oh, daughter TV to... time. I need to watch. I need to. Basically, we're waiting until the end of October to get caught up on to like do a binge watch of what we do in the shadows. But you're about to learn things about the Nandor actor you thought you'd never know. Really? That's oh, all good. I'll okay. say. Can't that's wait. all I'll say about that because I don't want to blow right. it. But as soon as you hear it, you'll go, "Oh, that's what Scott meant," and you'll be thrilled. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, where are we now? Uh, end of the show. Are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's not in our show notes, Scott. But it doesn't the say the that it's the end of the show. Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> you are. You are right. We are done. Uh, uh, let's see. My wife just sent me something big. What is this, honey? Oh gosh, and now I'm nervous. Hold on. Whatever you do, don't eat the jambolia. Oh, it's some. Uh, we have to co-sign on something. All right. Well, I'll worry about that later. Yeah. Don't eat. Don't eat the jambolia. It's been in the refrigerator too long. <laughs> Who wants to tell her? Um, all right, that is it. We're done. Patreon.com slash TMS is how this uh, uh, this effort is funded. This concern is funded. And uh, without your help, it doesn't get funded. Patreon.com slash TMS is the place. And if you're looking for more details on that or anything else we're doing here, all roads lead to frogpants.com slash TMS. And uh, now we'll get out of here. we got to play a song, though, because them, them's the rules. Uh, do you have a song? Them's are the rules. Kevin Chu wrote in. Icor wrote in, said, hello, scrubbing and bubbles. Uh, I just got back from a trip to Seattle where I dropped my firstborn off for her first year of college. Whoa. My little girl is now a freshman at the University of Washington. Whoa. I added the crying sound to that. Whoa. I already miss her terribly, as do her mother and brother. Our family is now a little smaller, 
and we're still getting used to it. When you have a chance, could you play Circus covered by Dirty Loops? The original, of course, by Britney Spears. I think it's an interesting cover of a pop song. Plus, it was the first time my then eight-year-old daughter had heard a cover. She was impressed that a song could be the same, but also different. And boy, is it different. Mm. Uh, Thanks, and it'd be nice to test the ship's phasers to make sure they don't sound like a car horn and scream. Oh, man. I don't find that guy handy. Let's see. I have... Uh, I have this. Let's test the ship's phasers. And since I don't know where that honk is, I'll do this. I have the oh, no. chef. I found it. Ah! There it is. <laughs> Very good. Uh, signed, Kevin A.K.I. Court today, by the way, is her first day of classes. So uh, awesome. good luck to uh, to to little Icor. I- the Icorlet. Yeah, Icorlet. <laughs> I- I- Icor Jr. Very cool. Uh, all right. So as you mentioned, the song is Circus performed by Dirty Loops. These guys are great and they are Swedish and do like a really cool um, rock jazz fusion style of covers. Not even describing it well because it's so good. Um, this is their cover of, uh, I think we've played their cover of Rolling in the Deep on the show before, but don't know. Um, this is their cover of Circus originally by uh, Leave Britney Alone. Uh, from their album, Loopified, from 2014. Here is Dirty Loops. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Frog Pants Network. Get more shows like this at frogpants.com. Three weeks. Oh, Picard says three Three. weeks. Three weeks. There are three. 